hello everyone you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time of joining us you're welcome to the family um make sure to like our video turn on subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified each time we upload new video we're making a full body blog today so what you need for this is your ruler your marker pen and if you're a beginner please use a pencil so that if there's an error you could always clean and correct so what i'm doing right now is i'm marking out the base for my for my block so i'm using one inch for the upper part so you go ahead and do so what that will help you do is going to give you guide you know to know where your measurement is starting from and when it's ending that's just basically what it does so and you make sure you mark if you're using one inch, mark a cross line and connect. Make sure the measurements are accurate. So I've done that. To determine um, the space you need for this block, you need to divide the highest part of your body. If, your, if your hip is the highest point or your boss, sometimes the boss can be higher than... Um, Measurement can be higher than the hip. It doesn't matter. Just the highest point What is what you use. You divide by four and you place. For my case, my hip is the highest point. So that is what I used. I divided it by four and that's what I'm imputing. Then you add like extra one inch or 1.5 depending on the space you have left. So you can use for your dad. So I'm placing it across and I am connecting them with a straight ruler. The, the length I'm working with is 25. And you know that the back and the front does not have the same measurement. Like I said, I have a video for um, half bodies. Um, I will link it in my description box. Go and check it out. You understand how to determine the back and the front. Though I will still explain it in while we work on this. So I'm marking my 25 and I'm marking it across. So use your measurements. Like I always say, if you've been watching my video, I always advise to use your measurements. So use your measurements. Know where you want your top to stop. It might be 24, 23. Just use the measurement you want, your desired measurement. So now to get your chest line, the formula to get your chest line to, is to divide your boss by 6. Whatever you get, you add 1.5 to it. So my own case, I have 8. And this works perfectly for everybody's size. Just saves you the stress of the arm will not fit in well. So mark across. My shoulder measurement is um, 7.5. I'm imputing my shoulder, shoulder measurement. Please make sure to use yours. And I'm connecting the lines. The shoulder line to the chest line. Now, for my shoulder slope, if you're drafting a body, the shoulder slope for the front is 1.5, for the back is 1. It's very important you take note of that. So, and I've marked my shoulder depth. My shoulder, I did the standard 3.5 for the width, 3. Point, I'm sorry, 3 for the width, 3 for the depth. And I'm connecting that.
सो नाम कौन है सिर्फ मशहूदा स्लूप I'm marking out my shoulder to my nipple point. Mine is 11. To my under boss is 14, and my waistline is 17. I'm extending the line from my waistline to the back bodies. For the front, for the full body, um, body scale, what you need is your 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 chest line, your nipple point, nipple palm measurement, your under boss, your waist. You under boss is not necessary. It depends on what you're doing, your waist, and the hip line. So you only introduce under boss when you want to do some alteration. That needs your underboss tightening. So I'm connecting the line for my underboss. I introduce this because this pattern I'm going to work on it for something else. So that was I introduce my underboss now here, but. You can skip it, except you want to alter it for something that needs your underboss measurement. So now I'm going to put my. I'm going to divide my. Um, I'm connecting my. I I extended the line of my nipple pan, so that I will have an even line. It's very necessary you do that. Now I'm indicating the point so I get to see clearly what I'm doing. I'm impute. I'm introducing my dart line. My dart is four. That's my nipple to nipple, nipple palm measurement is four. Is eight divided by two will give you four. So that's what I'm imputing. So I'm going to connect it with a straight line. To stop at the nipple point line. And now, from the waistline, I'm going to go up by two. Reasons are when you're connecting your dart for the full body block, your the dart measurement does not stop at the baseline. It has to stop two inch or one inch before the baseline. That's the down part of your measure your block. So I'm connecting it straight down to meet the two inch I went up by from the baseline. So from the waistline, I'm going to take zero point five zero point five for my dart leg dart intake zero point five zero point five. So I'm going to connect it from that waistline to the nipple point nipple pan line. I'll do the same for the other side, the left side of it. Then I will connect it straight to the two inch I came up by. As you can see, connect it back to the waist. I'm doing same for the other one. So what I'm doing here now, I'm taking my bust dart. My bust dart is, you know, the difference between 
my front bodies and my back bodies. That's the waist, the difference between my front waist line and the back waist line is what I'm introducing there. That's my own is 1.5. So you have to do your measurement to know what yours is. Yours might be three. If it's three, don't be scared. If it's one, don't be scared. Just whatever you have, as long as you did the measurement accurately, impute it there. So now I'm going to go, go up from my chest line by three. Three inch. What I'm doing now is then I will come in. If you're a plus size, you can do 0 0.7. But if you're a small size, do 0 0.5. So I'm, I did 0 0.7 because from my bosses. I will, um, what I'm doing here is I'm contouring it. This what this does is it helps you eliminate those boards you get around your armhole area when you make your dress. So I'm connecting with a free hand to give the curve. So now we're going to work on the back bodies now. What I'm doing here is you know the shoulder that the the bust that that was 1.5 that I did, I'm putting it here. I'm minusing it from the baseline. You know, I said they are not the same um, measurement. So I did 25 for my body length. But now I'm removing that bust that from the back. So I, I went up by 1.5. That's That 1.5 that I now went up by is my new body line for the back you don't have to be confused just follow the process um i will teach you how to i'll show you by the end of this video you will understand that um it does not affect your measurement it does not affect the the bodies because by the time we eliminate it it's going to be okay so now i'm contouring i'm doing my back contouring this back contouring you can do 0 0.5, but some person's back are deeper. So I did 0 0.7. From the waistline, I went in by 0 0.7. Then I connected it to the tip of it, then to the slightly to the baseline of the back measurement. So from So now, all my measurements are going to be starting from that line. Now, from there, I'm going to take my waist measurement, which is 8.5. My hip measurement, 10.5. Sorry. Then my bust measurement. You can see the way the tape is placed. So I'm going to connect the dots.
I'm connecting now from the hip line back to the waistline. Sorry, it wasn't. I didn't know it, the camera didn't cover that very well. So now when you're done, what you do is you blend off. If there's any sharp edges, you blend them off. Like you see me do like so. So now I'm going to introduce my waist that. Please take notes. The measurement is now from the contoured line. So from the chest line, I'm going to go down by one inch. From the waistline, I went up by, that's not the waistline, sorry. From the hip line, that's the baseline, I went up by one inch for the back. just defining the lines so that you can see them well when I'm connecting so now I'm going to connect from that one inch I went up by from the baseline to the one inch I went down by from the chest line So now I'm going to take my darts from the waistline, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 from the left and the right side. I'll connect it back to that one inch we went down by. And from the waistline, it will connect it back to the one inch we came up by from the baseline. I'm just redefining the line so you see them very well. So now you can see that's the one inch I went up by. Just showing you so you you see it because I noticed the camera wasn't covering it. So this is it. So let's go to the upper part of it. Now I'm, taking, I'm putting back the dots that I, I did. So you could add your dots your, before you connect, before you make your, you can include the dot measurements, um, the dots you're taking out, you can include it in the measurement before you take out the dots. I didn't do that here, so I'm just imputing it back. So now I'm putting my shoulder measurement for the back, 7.5, then I'll just connect it to the chest line. This is me trying to make sure that my lines are accurate, spreading it across so that I can have an accurate measurement. Just take your time to do it. Because if you don't cross check like so, you'll find out that, that um, sometimes when you use your tape after you just marked straight, you find out that they are not equal. So it's necessary you do that, you cross check. For the neck, I went down by, I did 1.5. Depth, width is 3.
to just connect like so. And if you're a beginner, you don't have curve. From you can just just tint it like one from the um edge of it like so or 0 0.5 you just curve it but if you have a curve ruler to work better for you for the shoulder slope for the back is one inch i said that earlier the front is 1.5 the back is one inch so now i'm going to divide my shoulder from that slope to the chest line i will divide it by two Whatever I got there, I would put indication. Then from that point, I will go in by 0 0.5 for the back. You know, for the front, I did 0 0.7. Like I said, if you are a plus size, you do from 0 0.7, one inch. But for a, a, a small body size for the front, you can do 0 0.5 for the back. You can just do zero point um maybe zero point three or so. Zero point three, zero point two will be fine. Now I'm connecting. So now for the front, we're going back to the front. We're done for the with the back. We're going to the front. I have to impute my measurement because I didn't impute my measurement for the front. So now I'm imputing my waist measurement, waist measurement, then my dart measurement, which is one inch. I'll do my hip measurement. Then my chest, my bust measurement. And I'll connect it like so. Blend of any sharp edges that you have. Here we have it already done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show us how easy it is to, to show you that the, there's nothing wrong with your measurements. As long as it's accurate. So now, you know, for the baseline, I said the measurement is 25. Then for the back measurement, I went up by 1.5. So if you remove 1.5 from 25, that means you're having um, 23.5. So that is what the back measurements I had. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slit this open so I can close the bust that. So I'm cutting out, slitting open. This is me closing the bust that. You hold it down with a paper and um, a masking tape. So now I've closed it. You can see that the the lines are equal now. The lines are equal now. Since I closed the post that. It shows the lines are equal. Just want you to, for clarification purpose. So now, I'm going to 
there is a gap, there is a, a something missing here. As I, when I closed the bus that the lines were not equal anymore. So what I'm going to do now is from that bus point, now I'm going to reconnect it back. If you do it like so, if you do it accurately, you'll find that that is missing. So I'm just going to put, replace it back like so. Make sure it's equal. If not, once 0 0.5, 0 0.1 remove or 0 0.2 remove from your measurements, you know there's a problem. So just putting it back and this is just it.